Hey, welcome back to Cirillo's Rogue Techers. We're on the edge of Merrick's space right now, and Merrick and Steiner are at war, as well as the Circinus Federation. Uh, Merrick and Circinus are sort of allied right now against the Lyran uh, Commonwealth. So what we're going to do um, while we're on this planet, we're going to jump right into a mission to start. Um, we were talking about perhaps um, swapping out the weapon systems on our hunchback, which right now we have an LRM-20 and a, a PPC uh, triple plus. We are talking about, we picked up a Rack 5, so maybe switching out to the Rack 5, but what we're going to do is we're going to pull off a quick mission here first, and then possibly just jump to another planet. And while we're jumping, we'll uh, see about swapping that out. So let's drop in and do Heavy Lure here. Now we could take a, he a higher one here, three skulls, or we could take a two and a half. I'm still not confident with the lance that we have right now, so I'm just going to go with a two and a half. Uh, maybe we pick up a few more medium mech pieces to perhaps get rid of our fire starter, but uh, we're just going to jump right in. We're going to go full salvage, and uh, we're going to get in and just take care of this thing. So um, the Hunchback right now, yeah, PPC Triple Plus and LRM-20 with the Artemis system. Um, I'm not really sure if the Rotary Auto Cannon 5 is going to be better. I mean, PPC is uh, outputting 74 damage right now with the... Um, um, PPC capacitor, and then the LRM20 is, is 4 times 20 obviously, so it's about 150 damage. The rack, if everything hits, is 160 damage. It's a little better, but the accuracy is a little lower than um, than, the, than the PPC will be and the LRM20, so I'm not really sure it's, it's really an upgrade to this, but let's deploy and see what we can do here. Alright, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. So we're looking for a few things to salvage here. Um, Obviously we're looking for medium mech pieces because we need to replace our fire starter. But um, we're also looking for exchangers, ultralight gyros, things like that that we can get. Um, be nice if we encounter a wolverine here because we've got I think seven wolverine pieces sitting in storage so we'd be able to assemble a wolverine. wolverine. And I'm wondering, like normally with this map, um, it's kind of a narrow map board on both sides but usually the enemies are Right, right along here in a line. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over to this side, engage on this side first, and hopefully um, not have to deal with uh, one guy to start. So we're going to get um, Height to sprint up here. Get him in the forest here. See what we're encountering here. Okay, so it looks like we got four max on this side. And this was our heavy. So, a total of five mechs, not bad. Maybe this guy is a heavy mech. I hope he is. Um, What's up, boss? Be nice to get some heavy mech parts, too. So, what we're going to do, um, got it. because we've got so many guys coming up at the same time, we're going to start. We're going to use this as a bit of cover here. I'm receiving we're going to move into a uh, position here where we can set up a Good firing running. line. Just running. We're also going to use this big rock here um, as protection. So if we have to, we can circle around the rock. So what that'll look like is when the enemy approaches, we'll attack them, but then move off in this direction to limit the number of guys that can fire at us at once. So we're going to reserve height, see what we're up against here. So we've got five mediums, that's good. Still going to reserve height. They can't see us yet, so... I got you. Okay, they're all going to reserve right back to turn one, probably. Yep. Okay, so um, since this guy cannot shoot at us this turn, we're going to move to a position where we can see him. And they can't see us. And then we're going to try and overheat this guy to shut him down. So it's a porcupine. We want to kill this guy as fast as possible. We're not going to shut him down here. We got two hits on him, though. That's good. I don't like this guy's initial melee alpha strike. It's it's awful. So we need to try and kill him as fast as possible here. So an LRM five could be any number of mechs. All right. So we're going to move back in this direction. Um, any way we can get a good line of sight on this guy, or is it all going to be impaired? Pretty much all impaired here. So we want to move back a fair distance. 59% chance to hit. That's good. So we're going to pull Alert. back here. We're going to unload on this guy with both PPCs. 
only one hit. So 34 damage. He's got some damage resistance. Plus he's he's braced there. So okay, this guy's flanking. I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna pull back once again as far as we can, maintaining our uh, maintaining our um, firing line here. Primitive. We have a low chance to hit weapon out. Not a lot of damage, but that's fine. I'm not sure what they're doing back there. Good to go. But as long as they don't move forward, that's fine. I'm good with that. Okay. So PPC 24% chance to hit. We're going to leave it off, but we are going to fire the LRM 20. It's going to be minimum damage, but okay, we got structure exposed now. That's good. Maybe he'll back off here. Looked like about 15 missiles, so maybe a trebuchet or something like that over there. Okay, so let's get height out of there. Just gonna pull him back over here. Get him ready for another sprint and attack. Don't want him to be near that porcupine. The porcupine does really good melee damage. So we're gonna pull back out of the way. Most of our lance is set up for, for ranged combat, so we don't want to be in too close unless we absolutely have to be. So we're going to reserve right back. Okay, since our yes, hunchback is the toughest guy we have, we're going to move forward here a bit so we can see this guy. And there's a nice little red line right there. So we're going to move forward. And I think probably we'll just fire the PPC on this one. Nope. Let's see what they do now. If that guy doesn't move. Where is he opened up here? On his arm. Not a big deal. Okay, so. Commander. We're still going to move. Just going to walk back. Roger. Two PPCs again. Going to try and bring this guy down as Stop. fast as possible. Right arm gone. Okay. Target's taking a critical hit. Now he'll probably move. Nope. I guess they want him as a punch bot, that's fine. So we're gonna back up again. We're gonna fire everything except for the small on this guy side of this guy. Good chances to hit. Maybe we can claim that torso. Unlikely, but you never know. So he's still moving in. So those are all the pods he's got. He's just firing them all off. A couple of hits. Yeah, a few points of damage. Systems hold it. Yeah, if he had gotten in real close with those, it would have been a different story. Okay, that's probably a Katyushka. Or a trebuchet, I don't know yet. But let's take... Let's reserve height. Holding for tactical advantage. Because I want him to engage that missile boat. Okay, so 4N, that's what we have. Set ours is tricked out a little better. So the 4N, the hunchbacks, you always want to try to engage from the rear because they have like almost no back armor. Alright, so first things Ready first. Orders. We're going to move to the flank. On my way. This por this uh, porcupine here. We're going to side torso him, hopefully. He's got 74 left. Let's double PPC him. Good chances to hit. Leg and torso. Nice. XL gyro destroyed, and he's done. So we do have porcupine pieces, too, as well. So I don't know how many of those we have. Not that I want a porcupine, but we do have pieces. All right, so let's get... I'm going to move height up right now. Just get him over this side. He's Copy not going to fight. Commander. Just want to get into a position where we can move in and, and uh, engage that missile boat back here. I think what we're going to start doing since these two guys are here is we're going to start shifting ourselves to the right. They're not really doing... I don't even understand what they're doing back there. Orders. Okay, so we're going to move over to the right. Engage the hunchback. 
Once again, LRMs and lasers. Uh, small, I think we can afford to shoot. It's 25%, not bad. Okay, we have knockdown potential now. Trebuchet, 5N, okay. It's the same one that we have. Right, that's what we have, 5N, yeah. Okay, so, Van Skater. Let's pull back to force that guy Roger that. to use indirect fire on us. We just want to walk to to get rid of some of the stability, and we want to try and make this guy unstable, so we're going to unload with both weapons. PC hit, excellent. Okay, he didn't take the left arm. Did he knock him down there at all? Solid connection nope. on that one. Okay, so now we have a choice. I mean, we could run in with height and try and knock him down, but I don't want him to take full blast of these missiles. Plus, with that guy being unstable, chances are he's not going to do much. So we're going to move height in. Roger, we're going to try and shut down this trebuchet. Just turn him right off, if we can hit him with everything. Unlikely, but you never know, right? So two hits, it looks like. Oh, three hits. Nice. Okay, what's the hunchback doing now? Is he moving forward? Sure. Bring her on in. Okay, so first thing I want to do... Hmm. I was hoping... Well, we can't get line of sight from here. Okay, good. Moving the uh, trebuchet back this direction. Gonna fire straight on the hunchback. Hopefully we're hoping for a knockdown here. Or an ammo explosion, that'll work too. Enemy down. Well, I'm not gonna get my salvage out of that guy. Let's see what they do now. I, I, I have what no idea fuck? what they're doing back there. Location confirmed. Alright, we're gonna fire on this guy. We can leave the PPC off. So the trebuchet's got very, well not very little armor, but very low armor. So... Okay, we got a Centurion. I don't know why he was waiting so long to engage. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Um, let's move back to here. Affirmative. Gonna keep this guy tied up with the uh, my Vindicator. I'm only gonna fire one PPC this turn. Breaching shot. Nice shot to the leg. Good. Uh, medium lasers, not bad. Try aiming next time. See what you get. Okay, height. What are your orders, Let's skipper? uh make sure this guy stays barbecued. And Firing everything, we're gonna try and shut him down. That should do it. Ha, you like that? So it'll force them to restart him this turn. Then we can move this guy. Just going to turn him to face directly at this guy. We're going to use an offensive push. And we're going to try for this leg with both PPCs. There we go. Right leg gone, knocked down. Okay, two or three. Blackjack O. Okay, cool. Need something, Chief? Okay, I'm just going to rotate you, and we're going to use you to attempt a headshot on this guy. So he's knocked down, so he's going to be going after everybody else. So let's fire. Oh, come on, headshot. Nope. And then flatliner. Same idea, we're just going to turn. I'm going. And we're going to take a fire at this guy, going to go for the head, and we're going to fire everything. Acknowledge. One headshot, please. There we go. Nice. So his chance to hit is pretty low at this point. So that's a different loadout than what I'm used to. So you have like, what does he got? 
Two light machine guns. Oh, use one RL-10, then another one. And a heavy rifle. Okay, mining drill. What's he got left in the center? 65. That's, that's not good. 54 in the torso. So let's move height back this way a little bit. Affirmative, Commander. Put our flamers on this guy. Hopefully shot him down again. He hasn't moved, so that's three hits it looks like. Not quite enough to shut him down, but enough to keep him barbecued. Oof. Okay, so... You. If we don't move, and we try an offensive push, we can... That's the blackjack. We want this guy. So we're going to move over here. Roger that. Try an offensive push. Targeting him. Let's go for this torso, and we will fire one PPC. I don't want to kill him, Fire. necessarily. Oops. I guess not. Failed to connect. Okay. I live to serve. So let's move Vane Skater back this way. Moving out. And we're gonna use LM twenty. Just fire it. We might get a head hit. No, but he's definitely stressed. I'm your spaniel. And flatliner. Let's move over here. Yeah, we're gonna try for how much has he got left in the CT? 62. Yeah, let's fire them both. We might get a head hit. Panic, nice. Confirmed. All right, we're gonna sprint over here. Keep this guy tied up. Attacking him from the opposite side this time. Crank it down to four. This should shut him down. I don't think he's going to bail out. It's weird that they don't pilots don't bail out when they're being barbecued. Okay, now we need to kill this to old go. guy here. So we're going to rotate over here. Two PPCs. This guy barely moves. So we're going to fire them both. Hmm. Now that should be two rifles. I think he's got. Right? Two medium rifles, yeah. So now we're going to direct fire them. Onward. So you can see we're pretty much ignoring that trebuchet right now because it's not like he can do anything. So if we manage to salvage a piece off this blackjack, um, we might get a blackjack. Not really, I don't like blackjacks. I really don't. It's not so much that they're a bad mech, it's just that I don't like the look of them. All right, PPC and LRM is firing. Roger yeah, he's still stable. Sure. Skipper. Not going to move. Actually, you know what? We will move. Just going to move behind him. Let's keep him barbecued. Copy that. It's a little better when he's... Um, Reporting. When he shuts down every turn, because uh, his heat sinking will drop him below the line, so I'm not actually doing extra damage to him, because I don't want to do extra damage to him. Okay, we're just going to stand here and fire. Actually, we're going to move. want to get a better spot to hit this guy here. Here we go. Much better. Let's unload on this guy, maybe knock him down. That should do it. That's it. That's a knockdown. Two of four. Thy will be done. Firing straight out, everything for the head. And Whoops. Neck destroyed. All right. Waiting for orders. Bane skate tour. 
gonna move ourselves over here. Roger. And we're gonna use an offensive push on this guy. Targeting for the head. Going with the LRM-20, just firing. Okay, left arm is gone. Reporting. I'm hoping this guy starts panicking. Probably not, we're probably gonna have to destroy him. Let's get around to the front. You got it. Four flamers. Uh, let's just fire them. Okay, so we shut down, so now we don't have to do called shots. Oh, we got a head hit too, nice. I'm here. Okay, let's see if we can get to the side of him here. That's the back. Hmm. Here we go. Let's go right here. On the way. Double time. Now let's we're gonna kill him if we use those. So let's try for a headshot. Firing three. Torso gone, down to two. Does that knock him down? No. Nope. Panicking. Standing by. Down zero. Let's just sprint over here. On the move. Full speed. It's really hoping for more reinforcements, but not likely. All right, from this side again. Ah. Targeting with targeting the head with the LRM20. Nope. Battle mech power up detected. What are your orders, Skipper? Step in. And offensive push. Go for a headshot. Fire. Fire Torso destroyed, heat he shut down. Critical hit. Pilot injured. So it's a stability thing now. I wonder if we can get let's get around in front of him if we can. Hmm. Acknowledge. So let's see what we're up against here. Just need to knock him down. If we take his leg off. Still got a fair bit in the center. So we're gonna do his leg here. Targeting his leg with the three lasers. Firing. Yes! Nice, knockdown, and he should be unconscious. Maximizing salvage, excellent. I mean, it's not all that great salvage, but Mission. hopefully we get some parts. So that turned out well, we took minim minimal damage. I kind of blame it on their two mechs, the, uh, the um, Centurion and the Blackjack kind of hiding at the back there. If they had engaged earlier, it might have been a different story, but unfortunately they did not. Well, fortunately they did not. Alright, let's have a look at what we got here. Lots of Centurion parts. One Blackjack part, one Hunchback, one Porcupine part. A bunch of Trebuchet parts, not bad. So let's see what we got down here. Machine gun arrays. Pods. Meh. Pod M is what? 6 times 10 damage for one ton. One shot. Medium rifles. Meh. Deny cockpit. That's eight hundred thirty thousand. Primitive engine, two fusion cores. Take those. Um, there's also the combat shield too. Uh, we don't have any yet. But I don't know. There's no heat sinks. No, I think we'll we'll take these. We, do we have a deny cockpit already? No, we don't. So we'll take this stuff, I think, and see what else we get here. So, one, two, three, f three Centurion parts and a Porcupine part. Oh, we don't have any Porcupine parts yet. I thought we did. Alright. What else did we get? Nothing, really. Garbage. Okay, continue. Alright, what's the damage? 11,000, about 12,000. Not bad. Alright, so let's have a quick look here. Um, in the mech bay. I want to have a look at our components. I want to see if we have any ballistic targeting systems because I'm thinking the Rotary 5 is going to be a waste of time unless we have ballistic targeting systems. Um, without that, like, what's the point, right? We have a plus 2 ballistic, so that might be okay. I mean, we're getting plus 4 right now with the Artemis system and the LRM-20. But plus 2 for potential double damage compared to the LRM. Yeah, maybe we'll give that a shot. So, let's go to the Argo here. We're going to head out to a different planet, and on the way there we're going to refit 
our um, hunchback. So let's head off to Concane. Let's go there. It's close. It's in the, right in the middle of where everyone's fighting. Still ho owned by Steiner. Maybe we can try and flip part of this in the war if the war continues. Let's start Not set course and go. We may just wait till to refit the mech until we get there. I think we need AC5 ammo. So let's wait till we get there. Um, so we can buy AC5 ammo and we can check and see if they've got anything else. And I know the planet did have manufacturing and a mega city, I think. So there might be other stuff we can buy there. So let's see, Lothian and Marian hegemony or hegemony. So Free Worlds League and Lyran Commonwealth are still fighting. Um, lots of planets being traded here. Um, let's confirm this and continue. So still war is going on. Oh, the crew is bubbling with enthusiasm about a local cliff diving competition. What, in the middle of space? In the morning briefing, Darius says, Flatliner has requested permission to, com to compete. Given the general interest, I'd like you to make the call. Samiri says, let him go. It'll be entertaining. Yang adds, you could send us all, or you, you could send us, them, all, to cheer Flatliner on. It'd be a bonding experience. Hmm. Deny shore leave. Grant shore leave to Flatliner. Grant broad shore leave for anyone to attend. I think I'm going to go this route. I mean, morale's kind of even. We just started a new month. And I know I denied people getting raises and stuff, but we have money right now, so let's go this route. Flatliner returns to the auger later that week. You find him in the mess hall regaling uh, listeners with tales of daring do. The crew who attended are, attending, are adding their own color commentary. Commander, thanks for letting me participate in the cliff diving competition, he says enthusiastically. I didn't win, but certainly made good, good showing for myself. Those locals, wow, they have no fear. I managed to keep up with them for a while, but the highest tiers on the cliff, it's a long way down to the water. Getting shot at by PPCs is probably safer. So he gains the following tags, Brave. What does that give us? Known for their bravery in the face of danger. Okay. Gain the following. High spirits for thir 30 days. Lose 25,000. Morale is increased by one. Continue. Nice. You are. Pilot is known for being brave. I don't know what, that, what the heck that means. Maybe that gives us a... Let's go to the barracks here real quick and we can see if that actually gives us anything. So, Flatliner. Let's have a look at his service record. So brave. Okay. Maybe it just uh, lessens the chance of him punching out in combat. Which would be nice. That's always good to have in pilots. Alright. Five, four days. So I'm hoping for some good stuff in the store here. Once again, nice, nice to be able to get an exchanger. We're really going to need that. Maybe they have mech parts too, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if they had a Wolverine part sitting around too. Like Alright, let's have a look at the store. Let's see, AC 10 triple plus, 50% crit, 2 times stability damage. We don't want to blow stuff up, so let's not take that. PPC plus 10 damage, eh, it's not as good as the one I have. SRM double plus, plus 2 accuracy. Hmm. Excavator cars, fusion cores, heat banks, which doesn't really help us that much. Yeah, still nothing here. Uh, Artemis ammo, um, AC5 precision ammo, which we can't use with the rack. Would have been nice. Um, okay, so there's nothing really here. Let's go to the sale here or to sell. I think we can probably sell a couple of those engines that we picked up. We'll have a look at what we got. I know we've got a couple of big engines sitting in here. Um, so we got an extra 200 we can sell. Let's get rid of that. Extra 250, let's sell that. Um, and I think we're gonna... Ah, we'll hang on to these. We've got 67 
thousand. We don't need to buy anything just yet. So let's leave it as that. Now let's go to the mech bays real quick. Um, and we're going to have a look at our hunchback. It's way, we got huge heat problems on this thing. We got to fix really quickly here. So let's refit this guy. Maybe we'll, maybe we will attempt to go with the rack and see what we can get going here. So let's pull out anything LRM or PPC related. And we want to pull out the slick system because I think, do we not pick up a better cop, uh, cockpit? I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, we picked up the DNI cockpit. Um, yeah, so no, I think we'll leave the slick, slick suite in for now. Um, minus 10% damage taken. Okay, plus one melee accuracy. We're not really fighting anything using melee, so we'll leave that out for now. The sensors in sight are kind of nice. So we'll leave that. So let's have a look now. Um, I'm going to go to weapons. And we're going to have a look at our ballistics. We're going to take out our AC5 rotary and drop that in. So we're down to 8 tons. Um, but our heat sinking has gone way up. So let's go. We're going to need at least 4 tons of AC5 ammo. So let's move our heat sinks up. And we're going to have to go to the store and buy 4 more tons. Or 3 more tons, that is. That's the AC5. We want ammo, weapons, ballistic, ammo, AC5, 23,000. We'll just buy three tons of that. Two, three. So that's not that expensive. Drop that in. So that'll give us 15 turns of firing, continuous firing. Um, I mean, we could probably go with one ton less, but I would rather be safe than sorry at this point. If we go with one ton less, that's going to give us, what, 11, 11 turns of continuous fire. Now, if we're going to be going up level and facing harder mechs, let's keep it as th as this, because we may be spending extra number of turns in battle, depending on what we're up against, if we end up fighting two lances at once. So let's go this route, and then we've got four tons left over. So our heat sinking is really good right now. Um, with four tons left, um, thinking maybe we just drop an ER medium laser in and some more heat sinks, or the other option. I know we've got a uh, we've got a um, a uh, clan large, but the problem is it's 35 heat, so it's like either we fire the rack or we fire the large. So we're back to the same problem we had with the LRM and the uh, PPC. So I would rather stay away from that and have continuous fire and continuous damage output. Because right now, that hunchback was having problems with that. So if we do go this route, or we can do clan medium pulse and two heat sinks. So let's just check and see what that gives us here. So let's go to the heat sinks, drop two heat sinks in, one on each side. So we're up to... Yeah, 51, 54. And that gives us variable damage of 10, so up to 45, like 25 to 45 damage. Pulse accuracy, so a better chance to hit. I think we'll go this route this time um, and see how this plays out. So it's eight days of waiting. Let's confirm that. So we'll, we'll uh, wait the eight days and then check our pilots. Uh, and then we'll end this this episode and when we come back next time we'll be able to try this hunchback out uh, and see if that gives us anything that's any better um, so let's go to our barracks really quick take a look at our mech warriors so blank yeah. spare still nothing flatliner we're working on either more gunnery or um, yeah more gunnery or um, more tactics so we'll leave that for now um, we could take piloting, but I think we're going to wait and take gunnery for uh, ground zero. What are your orders, Height. Um, we can go the guts route, or we can go... I think we're going to wait for piloting for him. Uh, aye, aye. Payroll. Let's take some guts. And band skater. I think we're gonna just going to take these. And I know we don't need indirect fire penalty right now, but I want to at least get his tactics up a little bit. Move towards that called shot. Let's Training just confirm confirmed. that. Alright, so when we come back next time, we're going to get that hunchback engaged in some combat, and we'll have a look at what kind of contracts are here. But until then, I'll see you later.